Many experiences in my life have led to my interest in the study of phenomenology and its uh, application within uh, theology. I think, first of all, recalling my mysterious conception in history, uh, I was adopted six weeks after birth. So, I, and it was a closed adoption, so I don't really know anything about my natural biological mother and father. Uh, but I know at least I was uh, conceived, given up uh, for adoption in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and um, adopted by John and Linda Wallenfang, uh, and raised by them. Um, and so, because of this mysterious past, I see a past full of possibility. What is my ethnicity, my family of origin? It's kind of fun because I get to claim all these different ethnicities and nationalities uh, because uh, they're unknown. So for sure, I, uh, I think in the record it says maybe some French and Irish descent, uh, but I must claim some Spanish descent because of my love for the Carmelite mystics. Uh, so when I look into my past, it's full of possibility, and it kind of sets the standard for the future horizon as well. I believe in possibility, and for me, God signifies the fullness of the possible. Uh, as Jesus talks about in the Gospels, uh, this God for whom all things are possible. And I believe that that idea is of the very essence of the concept of divinity, the concept of God, is the possibility of the impossible. Once sitting in class with uh, Professor Jean-Luc Marion, he said that the fact that we can draw a line between the possible and the impossible suggests the possibility that this line can be crossed. And I really believe that that's true, that any time we might try to delimit possibility and draw lines in the sand around the possible, they're only superficial, partial, provisional lines and if we want to be scientifically minded, if we want to be open to what gives itself, all the data of experience, then we must be open to possibility and not close the door on it.